Today in the news, we got all the details on Intel's 10th generation, including pricing. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. All right, so we've been waiting for Intel's Comet Lake to drop for a while now, and we kind of already had most of the information. We got the naming scheme leaked first, then we found the core count, followed by most of the clock speeds, etc., etc. But there's one thing we've seen fluctuating a ton, and honestly, it's kind of the most important part for Intel to have a chance at succeeding, the price. We saw some retailers advertise some of those 10th gen CPUs, but the price didn't seem right, and it actually wasn't. Yes, Yesterday, Intel's full lineup, including the price and the extra features, was leaked. And it's kind of better than I thought, honestly, but definitely not as good as I wanted. So let's start with the new features. Those are pretty cool. So first, the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility is getting a few upgrades that only work with these new CPUs. One that caught my eye is the option of turning on and off hyper threading on a core per core basis. It's a pretty cool feature. With the Windows 10 Affinity System, or if you wanted to make a two system on one CPU build, it could possibly improve certain tasks. It will also be cool to test out in gaming. The next one is B-Clock Gear Ratio OC. Now, this is not brand new in the world of overclocking, but not all motherboards support it. So now you can do it in Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility instead. And the rest is just enhancements, like better control over voltage curves and a newer, sleeker UI. Oh, and the uh, auto overclocker will also be optimized. As for the CPU itself, Intel's dies were getting thicker and thicker. In fact, the 9th gen CPUs were about twice the thickness of the 8th generation. This had a pretty big impact on temperatures, as you might have seen from the die lapping video from Der Bauer. By only grinding about a quarter of the thickness on the 9900K, he was able to reach a 15 to 20 degree C reduction in temperatures. Well, according to the leaked Intel info, the 10th generation should have a thinner CPU die while keeping the soldered TIM. Not only that, but the IHS also gets thicker, probably to keep tolerances in check for the mounting pressure of CPU coolers. So that is pretty much it for all of the thing's features and physical changes. Now let's talk about what is most important the price. At the top of the line, there's the 10900s, the new 10 core flagship. This one has a 1K unit price of $488 for the K version, $472 for the KF, and the rest you can see on screen. Honestly, it's a much better price tag than the $550 plus that we saw earlier last month, but it still has the stink of Intel's pretension. Is it worth it? Honestly, for some it will be. According to leaked benchmarks, it competes with AMD's 12 core 3900X. We'll have to wait and see for more benchmarks though. One step down is the 8 core department, aka the 10700 series. The K version is $374, the KF is $349, and the rest is on screen once again. Here we get closer to almost reasonable, but the fact that to use these chips you're gonna need to spring more for a CPU cooler and maybe a better power supply, it brings you right back to it being unreasonable. Then we have the 6 core i5 land with the 10600K at $262 the 600KF at 237 and the rest is on screen once again. This is straight up unacceptable. When AMD is selling a 6 core at $200 that is probably going to compete with the 10600K, this i5 series is going to be pretty much DOA. And lastly, there's the i3s, and I'll put these on screen right now, but they're also pretty much DOA, thanks to AMD's new 3100 and 3300X 4 core CPUs, which are priced insanely right. Anyways, there you have it, all of the prices and new features expected for the 10th gen CPUs. It should all go live tomorrow morning as you can see from the embargo lift date so let me ask you this what do you think good bad i mean intel's got no chance at getting back on top unless they chop a good amount from the price of each part but i'd still like to know your opinion and this is pretty much it for the news today guys hopefully you've enjoyed drop a like if you liked it a comment if you want to talk about today's stories as usual you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel stay frosty my dudes and i'll see you on the next one take care guys my rib feels much better, and I've had to record this video thrice. Once I didn't have audio, second time I wasn't recording, and this one. Hopefully this works.